I'm going to move the, I mean, yeah, let's talk about Bezos quickly. So uh, I, I don't know if you saw this, but more of these leftist thugs, these nihilists, these creepy Rousseau. I mean, here's the real link to Rousseau. Uh, uh, I think it was last week, late last week, over the weekend. They went out in front of Jeff Bezos' house. I think he has a house in Washington, D.C. And in front of Jeff Bezos' house, they literally built a guillotine. Now, what is the meaning of building a guillotine? When were guillotines used against the so-called elites? Well, the guillotines were used in the French Revolution. A revolution inspired, to a large extent, by Rousseau. Inspired by Rousseau's ideas about egalitarianism and about the destruction of civilizing institutions. Now, you can somewhat justify the revolution in the sense that it was against a horrific monarchy. But it very quickly devolved from a revolution against a monarchy to a revolution of blood destruction in the name of of egalitarianism, a form, a kind of communism. And of course, the guillotine was their means of execution. The guillotine was what they used to eliminate the aristocrats. They eliminate those with privilege, real privilege. Aristocrats have real privilege. That's why never use the word privilege when referring to America. There's no privilege in America, except maybe to the political class and the cronies. And that has nothing to do with skin color. The only privilege in America is the political class and its cronies. The guillotine represents the slaughter of those with privilege. The guillotine represents the slaughter of those in power. The guillotine represents the slaughter of those who have more. But not those who created more. Those who have more. The left can't see the difference between aristocrats under King Louis XIV, or was it the 17th, Louis XVII, and a producer, a genius, like Jeff Bezos. Now note that the culture we live in, many people on the right were happy about the guillotine, because many other people on the right hate Jeff Bezos, want to break up Amazon, hate Amazon. I mean, Trump, how many times has Trump attacked Bezos? So now we have a left and a right who hate the producers, who hate the builders, who hate the great innovators of our lives. There should be a lot more likes. I mean, I, mean, I got five dislikes. I'm not sure exactly why. I guess because I attacked the left and some leftists showed up maybe. Or maybe I attacked Trump and some Trump supporters showed up. But there should be a lot more likes. So please, before you leave, don't forget to like the show. Let's get it up to over 200 now. It could be easily over 200 right now. So the people putting this guillotine out there are not just common Marxists or common socialists. These are bloodthirsty, egalitarian nihilists. These are people who can't differentiate between builders and takers between the aristocrats of the 18th century and the capitalists, well, they're not even capitalists, but, but the, the producers, the entrepreneurs, the builders of the 21st. If anybody deserves his wealth, it is Bezos. Now, note that would that yes, Jeff Bezos has made a lot of money during the pandemic, but why has he made a lot of money during the pandemic? His wealth has increased, but why has his wealth increased? How did his wealth increase? It increased because he saved our lives. It increased because Amazon is what made life tolerable during this pandemic, during lockdowns, during being shut down. It is because of his genius in setting up Amazon that we all could survive, that we all could get food and other basic necessities that we needed without going out, without risking our lives. Well, not our lives, you know, our health, 
and the health of those people who serves us at the stores here. We didn't have to go out. The increase in the value of Amazon, which, by the way, is paper wealth, because if Bezos try to sell all that stock in Amazon, there's no way he could get the current price on it. The price would plummet if he sold it. But it's paper wealth. The increase of the value of Amazon is because we discovered how indeedly valuable it is. How beneficial to human life it is. How beneficial to human life it is, even during really, really bad times for human life. If anybody deserves to have made a lot increase in wealth, made a lot of money during this crisis, it is Jeff Bezos. Because he had the foresight, the imagination, the organization, the capacity, the ability to build Amazon, to set it up. And when a pandemic hit, we all went, whoa, all right. Yeah. So I think Jeff Bezos is one of the great heroes of the world. I think a guillotine outside of Jeff Bezos' house is a great, one of the great moral travesties. It is disgusting. It is offensive. But it says everything you need to know about the world in which we live in today, where nobody, left or right, appreciates the builders and creators. Nobody, left or right, appreciates markets and how they work. Nobody, left or right, appreciates the entrepreneurs. We need to laugh, we leave the collectivists of the left and the collectivists of the right to rot and build something new, build something different. And yes, the right would have never built a guillotine. This is a purely a creation of the nihilist left. And how emboldened it feels in the world in which we live. How emboldened it feels in a world which Obama and now Trump have created. We have got to find an alternative. We have got to find another path, another route, another way out of this. If the choice is between the nihilists in the streets and Trump, then we are lost. We are finished. It's the end. The only hope, the only hope, and maybe this is a pipe dream. Maybe Stephanie on the chat is right. Maybe I'm dreaming. But the only hope is that Biden buys us time. Time for the Republican Party to get its act together. That's the only hope. Because another four years of Trump is another four years of what's going on right now, another four years of incompetence, another four years of destruction, and another four years of collectivism of the right getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And by the way, the more the collectivism of the right gets stronger, the more nutty the left will become. The more radical, the more extreme the left will become. The more further out the left will become. If Biden loses, the conclusion will be we need somebody like Bonio AOC. And then it'll be, and, and then we it's a shortcut. It's a speed race to who will take over this country completely. All right. I mean, I've seen... Rousseau. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. 
But but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing. Whether you're looking at this, uh, and and you know the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.